welcome to this here maestro vlog so today we're going to do a five things i love and five things i hate about running a retro or classic car in 2021 again please remember to subscribe to the channel sorry about the noise a storm has suddenly started and we're probably gonna have to do this part in the car part out so let's get to it anyway so this is the five things i don't like about owning a retro or classic car in 2021 so we're on to the first thing so number one everybody seems to think you don't have a choice in the matter also your chair squeaks everyone seems to think you're poor you don't have a choice in the matter and that this car this for example in my case an austin maestro is something i have had pushed upon me that i clearly don't want to own even though i absolutely love the thing to pieces and it's my choice to own it most of these people of course are people in a you know the, the usual one series the um 58 play audi a4s you know the, the typical high flyers in life so that's the main that's one of the main things i absolutely despise and economically this is actually a better choice because this is just going to go up in value whereas their car is always going to depreciate until it hits the bottom point and by the time it hits the bottom point or it starts to raise up we probably won't even own it anymore anyway but they would have lost a significant amount of money so you can be smug in the fact that you own an appreciating asset just don't drive it too much like i do because i've driven nearly a thousand miles so the second thing i hate about owning in a classic or retro car is the fuel anxiety people talk about range anxiety with these electric cars i get fuel anxiety because the problem is is the way the fuel tank level sensors work is when you go uphill you sometimes have more when you go downhill you have less so for example in this car on one of the videos you saw my fuel tank going up like that literally reaching maximum going past maximum and then going all the way back down as i went up and down a hill again not a fault it's just something that happens in older cars i'm so used to the the um the newer ones on obviously cars my first car was from 2008 so yeah i'm more or less used to modern cars fuel gauges again it's not exactly the i'm really trying hard to pick things apart here um obviously about the classic car ownership experience but yeah using one of these things as a daily you do get a bit anxious about it but it, that moves on to our next thing which is building up trust with the with the car that it won't actually let you down so the next thing of course is building trust so usually with these with cars it takes about a month for me to trust them with these classics anyway so i have about a month period of like a love-hate relationship and then you sort of learn all the quirks and everything of the car and for example like i was mentioning earlier the the fuel anxiety and you realize that that's just part and parcel of owning it and you sort of learn how to predict these these magic going ons if you will you know it'll get you home eventually you entrust it like a dependable old dog and yeah you eventually learn the car and that's that's another thing you have to really learn it unlike a lot of more modern cars where you get it spoon fed to and not saying modern cars aren't good i've owned a few it's yeah it's not handed to you on a plate it's one of those things isn't it you just learn it you grow with the car and you become a better driver as well i've noticed that that moves me on to the fourth thing i don't like about owning a classic or retro car and that is definitely people always asking me how much the thing is worth i usually get asked it all the time in the street for example one time i was cleaning my car some guy came over and he said you're all right mate how much is that worth you don't really know how to take it obviously some people enjoy that that aspect of it i get that they are worth money they are appreciating that's just a fact of life cars anything you buy is an investment whether it depreciates or appreciates who knows but yeah i just i don't like getting into that sort of conversation especially when strangers ask you it when you're on the street by yourself it's just a bit it's just a bit weird it's not none of their business i'm sure you can just ebay austin maestro or whatever and find out how much it's worth another thing i dislike is people moaning about other people's cars so this is my car your car is your car not against anyone specific but you get a lot of these people saying that's no who came up with these shots now this is the five things i like about owning a classic or retro car number one every single journey you make feels like an achievement so you go to the shops and you're in your maestro or whatever classic car or retro car you own you feel like you've got this it's like it's like man in a piece of a piece of really ancient machinery which technically is really but yeah, you, you and you get these people. It's like it's like you get like a collective round of applause from people. Like it's nice to see one of them out on about. It's like like it wouldn't be, or like it would be, because of course, as many people say, these things rust to pieces. 
most classic cars do, that's how it works. Definitely number two is the people that you meet along the way. When people are so passionate about these really old cars, it really does, you know, it, it does kind of make you smile, especially when they're willing to help you in the most extraordinary ways, giving you pieces, shout out, you know, who you are, giving you bits, helping you with advice, just everything like that, just making it just a wholesome community full of, full of idiots that made the wrong choice or the right choice, depends how you look at it. I personally think I made the right choice, but... Yeah, just having a community of enthusiasts surrounding the car, I think that is probably about 30% of the whole classic car experience, is having a community around the car that actually genuinely cares and is not trying to scam each other and are not out for what they can get. I just think it's brilliant. So this is number three, I think, if I can count correctly. Who knows? Um, it's the random people as well. So, for example, I was at Morrison's about an hour ago, Get some fuel for this thing so I can bring it out here and make the video. And then these two, these two women walk up to me and they just go, You right, mate? Is that a Montego? Of course it's not a Montego, it's a Maestro. But then they looked at the back and was like, Oh, it's a Maestro. It's just brilliant. And then they sort of reminisced about how their dad used to have one, etc. etc. It's just amazing. It, it, it really does. I think it makes people smile. Even though it doesn't have um, things like cup holders, which is yeah, quite annoying. Annoying for me. I should have added that to the list I hate. But things i hate but yeah people just genuinely they either react positively or like i said in the last bit they act extremely negative but who cares it's your car as long as it makes you smile and other people smile that's all that matters so number four is definitely the fact that these little cars are like dogs and weird animals i love this thing it's like my little little dependable friend as weird as that may sound you might call me weird for that but these things do have personalities. A lot of things do because we humanise everything. But yeah, I've sort of, I was going to say doggerized. I've, I've, well, we'll say humanised because doggerized, especially where I'm sitting, does not sound very good. But yeah, we humanise everything, don't we? And I've, I really think I've humanised this little maestro. And just every car I own is just sort of a dependable mate. And when things do go wrong, yeah, you're a bit pissed off, but you're like, bless you, you're an absolute dick and you've um it's not the big thing of you wronged me i paid so much money for you it's it's you little shit why did you do that <laughs> and that's just one of the one of the more positive things about it as well number five i would say is definitely the stupid features and stuff that we don't need anymore so for example i have um some dials on my wire well, of course i know what fm is medium wave and long something i don't even know what that means Again, that might be a, a cool feature, a, a feature you need, but it's not something I need. And stuff like this as well. What, what? I can't put a drink there. I can't put a cup there. So the only thing I have close to a cup is this. So I can't put a cup there. I can't put a drink there or anything like that. If you do, it'll flop about. So the only thing I can think of with, with how to drink in this car is you either put the thing in there or you pour the drink on here like the filthy animal you are, and then. God, that tastes weird. And suck it up with a straw. That is the only thing I can think of. Of course, more, more interestingly pointless things are this thing here. I assume you would put your change there, but some maestros came with change holders. Um, other random stuff. Ashtray, let's see. There's no, no millennial smokes. And every time you put, you put any change in there, it rattles after death with all the other plastics in the car and makes your life a misery. Just random stuff like that mirror just silly little things that cars weren't quite there yet but they were getting there and i think that's why cars are so boring now because they have got there so that about rounds i've got to clean that up that about rounds it up for this video everyone so thank you again for watching um sorry it's not been like a an active sort of maestro vlog where i've gone around but unfortunately there isn't really much to do at the minute especially with the weather being like it is um so new videos every tuesday and thursday and when i'm when hopefully when i'm feeling a bit better we'll be getting them on on sunday as well so thank you for watching keep watching and remember to subscribe for more of this utter garbage <laughs>